Hey YouTube, it's Ken here from Think Trade Profit. Today I'm going to show you what I believe is the fastest way to enter orders in Fidelity Active Trader Pro. Um, I got a lot of great feedback on my last video about my honest review of Fidelity. If you haven't seen it, the link is in the description below. Check it out. But um, I scalp, um, and there was a lot of discussion around uh, the ways to enter orders and how different people do it. There's a lot of great videos that Fidelity's done on those themselves. Um, but I'm going to show you what I think is pretty much the fastest way in the absence of hotkeys and that kind of thing to enter orders and scalp really fast markets with Fidelity Active Trader Pro. So let's jump right into it. So where you want to start is the Active Trader Pro platform. Go up into settings and go up to directed trade. And if you don't have a directed trade window open, you can go over to trade and orders and select directed trade and extended hours like you see here. This is the directed trade window, and this is what has the level two quotes uh, and the times and sales too. So go up into settings, take a look at directed trade, and then you're gonna get a window like this, and this is where you can set up the configuration, the defaults and stuff for the directed trade order entry. Uh, so the first part is just about selecting things off the level two book, and uh, I have the stock defaults actually set to 100 right there. I don't really use that for entry, and I'll show you why. Um, but jumping back in, directed trade, um, and this just has bid ask click selections and that kind of thing. Order types is here. This is something I, I haven't used much either. Um, you can set reserved orders so that uh, it'll refresh. If you had a lot, say you run a small cap stock or something like that, you had 10,000 shares, um, you could put, put an order out there at a limit price and it would refresh as you sell your shares. You can put in pegged orders or non-display orders. I don't use any of these. What I use is the stock shortcuts, and I call these buttons, and you'll see these over here in Director Trade right here. Um, what this allows you to do is to set up some custom configurations so that this order ticket is filled really quickly based on what you select. And there are a couple pre-scripted in here by Fidelity, sell it, bid, buy it, ask, and sell it, ask. Um, and then there's custom. And that's why I built some of these. I have buy to cover it, market, uh, short at market, sell at market, and I think buy at market. These are all custom. So the reason I set those up is 95% of my trade entries are something like this. I use a limit order to enter and I use the market to exit. Um, and the reason being is I don't want too much slippage from algos or high frequency trading when I enter. I want to get my price or better. And then when I exit, I usually go with the flow of the market and stuff, and I, I try to get a really good execution when it's declining, and that's when I buy. So when I do buy the market, and or when I exit, I want to exit at the market price, because uh, the market's really fast, I don't want to take any pullback. So limit order to enter, uh, market order to exit. And you could be different, and you can set up the buttons differently, but that's why mine are set up this way. And this is where you can configure them, and there's all kinds of configuration here, as far as order types, time and force, day, good till cancel, conditions, all or none. On all of my custom buttons, I use the auto route, and that says, hey, Fidelity, route it through the automated system, your back end. Um, there are ways to uh, route this through ARCA and other ECNs or um, other exchanges, and just be aware of that. There might be fees associated with that. If you trade on ARCA um, and BATS and that kind of thing, I think they do, Fidelity doesn't need those eat those fees for you. But I've used auto for pretty much my whole career at Fidelity. And the reason being is you get a lot of good price improvements and that kind of thing. So that's where these are set up. So going over to my setup and you can see the market just opened. Fidelity, or I'm sorry, uh, Facebook traded about 3 million shares pre-market. Um, it had a big day on Friday and it was down 16 points. And today it's opening up down about six. So real quick, the basic workflow, because I'm gonna just do some executions and try not to lose too much money here um, and show you what it's like, say five minutes after the open, so you have some confidence in the platform that you can really execute in fast markets and that kind of thing. So the basic workflow is this. You're gonna populate the trade ticket with one of the buttons. So a sell at the market will populate the trade ticket like I want it if I wanted to sell at the market. Notice the route is auto for all my selections. Or I could pick a limit price. Let's say I wanna buy at the bid. What it does is it pre-fills the ticket with the bid at the time I click that button. You can see the market's really fast. It's already moved uh, seven eighths of a point away from that. Um, same thing with shorted ask. It pre-fills the ticket where the ask was at that time. 
um, and that's how this works. So unfortunately, it takes two click two clicks to get an order out there. That's the only thing I don't like. I wish I could set this so on this key press it executed, but you get used to it. It's it's still very very fast. So again, the first thing would be populate the trade ticket with what you want, and you can see my selections here, and then you hit place, and that will place the order. Uh, I was doing some test pre-market and doing some cancels and stuff to see if my layout was was optimal for for uh, this video, and that's you see these one share lots up here. This is my uh, order window, so this will show the orders as I put them out there, whether they're open or this is where I'll see the the reports for my fills as well. And I'm going to sort this so they show up on top. Um, but that's basically it. This is also where I can cancel orders. You can click on uh, any order type, and you have a lot of different. Uh, options and open orders can be canceled and that kind of thing. So the market is crazy fast in Facebook this morning because obviously there, if you haven't followed uh, what's going on in it, um, there's a lot of advertisers pulling out because of the way they're handling their content and that kind of thing. So I'm going to give this two more minutes to settle down, about 9.35. I usually don't trade that much this morning and this is crazy fast market as well, but I'm going to try to find a resistance level here that's decent and just kick off some executions for you back and forth. So let's zoom in over here. I haven't been really watching price. So give me just a second, we'll come back in a minute. I'm gonna find a resistance level that I think is relatively safe to say short it. All right, so it's trading around 210. This is where we saw it before. I think a short's the way to go as far as risk goes. So stay with me, this is gonna be quick. I'm gonna fill the trade ticket, I'm gonna hit place. We'll see how fast we get a fill. You'll see the order up here. Then I'm gonna to try to cover for some kind of profit and not lose a bunch of money. I'm just trading 50 share lots uh, for this demo because I don't wanna risk a bunch of money in this crazy market. So there's the figure and it just came up above 210. Let's do that. So I just shorted 210.13. You can see the ticket up here and we missed the market by a um, a mile. Let's give it another second, see if it hits that. I can hit new trade here and get ready for the cover. We're close to getting filled if it pops up a little bit more, but it doesn't look like it's going to make it. Let's give it another second. So you can see that the orders open up here. And it's too far away from price. So I cancel the order and you get the response from the cancel really quickly so you know that that order is no longer active and you can do something else. Let's try another short here somewhere. But you can see how fast the market is. This thing's traded six million shares already. Let's try this again. So again, new trade, buy to cover market. I got filled at 93. So you can see the fill up there. And I just covered it at 88. So I made five cents, not a huge profit, but it goes to show you how fast this platform is. I shorted, and that trade was actually a six second trade. There was no delay. It's 937, and probably one of the most active stocks uh, on the NASDAQ right now. We'll do another one here for you. Let's see if we can, I like that price we saw. So it just peaked above 210 again. Let's see if we can get something up here a little bit higher say 203, place that. What I do is I hit new trade right away to get ready in case I get a fill and we missed it. So it's down half a point. We didn't get the fill at 210.03, so let's cancel that. Let's try it again. See if we can get another pop in price. But you can see the responsiveness. I'm not wondering if my order was canceled. I can react and put in a new order and that kind of thing. I really like that about this platform. It's probably one of the fastest things I've ever seen as far as canceling and getting right back in there. I get a good feeling of where I'm at and I don't have to wait for like, hey, is that order canceled so I can do something else? Price is picking up again right at this spot. I've got 90 queued up. It's really struggling to stay above 210. That's basically what I'm seeing right now. But anything can happen in the first few minutes. Um, and it's back down. Let's give it one more second. That really was kind of the price area to, to go ahead and just keep shorting, at least for this minute. <clears throat> there's a lot of crazy things. Obviously, before 10, there's a lot of price discovery and that kind of thing. I expect this will probably pop up again here. Yeah, here it goes. So let's take a better price, like 210 and a half, something like that, something a bit higher. We can get it. 
No, it's not gonna make it. Let's try this. I got filled at 210.07 short. And I covered it at 209.81 right there. So again, that trade was a seven second trade. You can see it here. And it actually got, see this little icon here? This is price improvement. And I'll show you what that means in a second. We'll look at times and sales. So it's good because now the market's higher. So we shorted at 210.07, we bought it at 209.81. Again, this isn't how I trade the open exactly. I just want to show you the speed and the reliability of the platform uh, when the market's really fast. All right, so let's look at times and sales real quick. We'll talk about this price improvement. So this said, see this total price improvement, $2. Why is that price improvement? What are they doing? I talked about this in my other video and, and Fidelity has um, a whole section of their website decided to, uh, <clears throat> Fidelity has a whole section of their website dedicated to price improvement and how they do this periodically. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find um, this execution, 938.35. And we're gonna change this date to today. And a lot of a lot of stock trades at this point in time, so it shouldn't be too hard to find our our shares. Uh, Nine thirty eight thirty five. Oh, let's do it this way. We're looking at all prints before that, 938.35. We got a price of 209.81, and it looks like this is our fill right here, if you can see it. So we were short, we covered, and we got price improvement. Why did we get price improvement? Times and sales, sales is handy. You can look at this to see if you feel like you're being cheated and that kind of thing. And this is reported to you know the NASDAQ, FINRA, everyone um, to keep it fair and orderly market. So we got 209.81 at the time these are the traded prices here, the last price and the volume. And that's our 50 shares because it's the only one around the second. The bid at that time was 209.77. So we didn't get it at the bid, but the offer at that time, the best offer was 209.85. So we got it right in the middle. We got it four cents better uh, than, than the offer. Uh, other other dealers uh, who sell their order flow, they would sell it to somebody else and they may fill you at 2985. And this happens a lot. Um, you get something in between because Fidelity has a massive back end. I'm not sure how it works, but they don't sell their order flow, so they give you these improvements. So we got filled right in the middle of the market in a super fast market at a great price. And that's price improvement. And they happen periodically and they're recorded on your account. You can go on the Fidelity website and you can see your price improvements for the year. Um, you see it on every every trade, so it's really cool. Um, check it out on their website. Just go look at uh, all the stuff they have about how they report it, um, and it's great. So I'm gonna uh, conclude it with with that demo. Basically, crazy fast market and a crazy fast stock. This is probably going to be one of the hot stocks for today. It's going to do a ton of volume. On Friday, it did three times its normal volume. The Arval was like three plus. So. I hope that gives you some confidence of the platform. Um, I read some uh, Thinkorswim Reddit over the weekend and people are having still having problems with that platform at the open. Um, there was one guy in there that said he was using his small Fidelity account to open Active Trader Pro to use times and sales in, in Active Trader Pro to trade the open because it was more accurate and there was too much of a delay on Thinkorswim. So I don't know, give it a shot. Um, I just want to let you see how I enter orders. I think that's the fastest way in fast markets, but I'm open to feedback. If you guys know something better, I'm all for it. Um, please share it in the comments below. And, and if this is helpful, please hit the subscribe button um, and you'll get notified when my next videos come out. So with that, good luck out there. Protect your profits. I'll see you next time. Thanks.